Michael is with us. Michael's in Dayton, Ohio. Hi, Michael. How are you? Hey, Dave. Good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Yeah, so in June, my wife and I uh, switched to a different Internet provider, and after we did that, uh, we were expecting it. They sent us a bill for the unreturned equipment, so we sent it back, and we received confirmation that the provider received it, and then in August, we received another bill for $59 for a supposed third piece of equipment that we never received when we first uh, began the contract with them. And they've continued to call us asking for payment for this equipment. And then after three attempts of trying to resolve this, trying to explain that we never received anything. Uh, if we had it, we would give it back to you. You've already received two pieces of equipment. Uh, and so now they're saying they're sending it to collections. Mm -hmm. And so while I want to stand my ground and um, not pay for something that we never received, should I attempt to fight this or should I just pay the fee of $59? It's up to you. I mean, you, but here's the thing. You're going to have to get above the idiots you've been talking to. Right. And they are idiots because if you talk to someone and you explain something like that and they can't help you get resolution on it, instead they just open a collections file. I mean, this is somebody whose parents are cousins. You're going to have to get above them. All right. And so, you know, I'm going to have $59 worth of butt chewing just for the fun of it somewhere in this organization. <laughs> right. Uh, at some right. point, you may pay it. At some point, you may get mad enough you hire an attorney and sue them. But, um, but the, that, that's the problem. You know, the number one consumer complaint with cable companies is the incompetent employees. And there's like Comcast stories. There's Verizon stories that are all. I mean, they're like a, a YouTube phenomenon. Rachel, you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Well, and they and they and they cycle through them. I mean, these people don't stay at these jobs. Well, especially the debt collectors. That's a whole other. <laughs> industry but it's almost the same thing they're just in these cubicles and they just and they quit 90 days later i mean like the the amount of rotation that they go through the chances of, these of talking to the same, same person, person are very right. low yeah so that's it you got to keep going and going and going and it's a pain so honestly and i love the conviction dan but you may get a few months down the road and just pay the 59 dollars because you're just tired of it which sounds like you're surrendering and i hate that the justice part of me is like no yeah don't pay it but there gets to a point of your yeah. quality of life that you're like you know what it's just Oh, it's not worth it. But yeah, I have to pick out a few of those to do every year to get it out of my system, and the rest of them I'll let them go because I'd have a real pile of them. I'm a hillbilly, and I will fight you just because it's fun. <laughs> and so I have to yeah. I have to check myself on that because I end up with this big pile of fights that I picked. Uh, well, I didn't pick them. I'm going to finish them. They started it. You didn't start this. So, uh, but it's just it. You know, at some point, you get too much of this crap in your life by these incompetent people. So, which cable company is this? Uh, this is our local. It's uh, called Spectrum. Okay. All right. And that's... Yeah, the only uh, thing I've done so yeah, you're in Dayton, Ohio. Okay. So, yes. everybody, everybody, in Dayton, everybody in Dayton now knows that because we just told them. <laughs> this cost them a lot well, more than $59 just now. Yeah. I, so, I, Spectrum, hire some... Hey, up. Spectrum, hire some competent freaking people. Solve this guy's problem. I tell you what, Michael, I'm going to put you on hold, and uh, Kelly's going to make sure we have your contact information. If anybody at Spectrum has a backbone or a desire to actually do real customer service, contact us. We'll put you in touch with Michael, and we'll give you credit for cleaning up this mess if you want to do it. So what are the odds they do it? Oh, no, they won't. They won't do it? <laughs> You're as cynical as your old man. <laughs> do <I? laughs> Kelly's in the booth going, zero! Okay, but we'll give no, them a chance. So we, hey, we trashed them on the air. We'll give them a chance oh, to gosh. fix it. I'll go back and say you guys are wonderful people. You fix Michael's problem. I'll, I will recant if you fix it. If you don't that, fix it. Michael, that could have been the, the justice you needed. Just that call, just to put the truth out there yeah. so people know. I used to do that more on this show. I used to tear stuff up like uh, that. But um, then, I figured out, then I figured tired. out. Well, I figured out I was getting used. The people huh. calling in, I was they were using me like a weapon. And so I had to quit doing it. But That's occasionally funny. I can still, about once every decade now, I still sneak in and do one to Spectrum That's in smart. Dayton, Ohio. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> I feel better already. It's just cleansing. It is sad that they tell us that now 76% uh, of credit bureaus have errors on them. And 34% of the credit bureau reports have errors on them that are so egregious that it would keep you from getting mm. a loan or keep you from getting an apartment or whatever. In other words, they it's a complete it's wrong. It's not accurate. Right. It's well, one thing if you don't pay your freaking bill, but it's just they, like this piece of equipment doesn't even exist. It ends up on this guy's credit bureau report. It's a complete lie. Yep. 
and it wasn't anybody done with malice. It was done by stupid people who didn't care enough to fix their problem. When it screws up everyone's life involved of it, right? Like, oh, like it's half the credit bureaus. Yeah, it's reports a mess. Are, are are screwed, you know, by stuff like that, and by just it's on the wrong account. We, the person entering the digits didn't have enough digits to enter digits, and they just oh god, oh, you know, crooks make me mad. Incompetence almost makes me madder.